Hey guys, how's it going? This is Dave, and welcome to a new episode of our video mailbox series. We're answering your questions uh, that you've asked on twitter.com slash minor studios. You can follow us there for all the latest news and updates about all things atmosphere. But let's get right to it. We have about three pages of uh, questions you guys have asked. So we'll start with Atmos Lemon, who says, in multiplayer, if one player gets a key and unlocks the door, will the door be open for everyone, or will the door appear locked? Uh, probably this will stay the same as, as it does right now, where the designer chooses how the door interacts with you. So some doors, right now, you have the option to make it lock behind you or stay open or close after five seconds. We'll probably keep it the same and keep it simple for the time being. But one thing we might add is the ability for keys to respawn. So maybe after 30 seconds, a key will reappear so another player can get it and open a door that may be uh, you know, relocked or something like that. Uh, we'll probably keep it simple in the beginning and then add more multiplayer features and specific items and stuff as uh, we progress. Uh, so good question, good idea. Um, Atmos Link says, will there be any kind of ranking system when multiplayer comes out? I'd really like to see something like this to tell us apart. Yeah, I would love to add this too. I've been playing a lot of, I think I mentioned it last week, Battlefield 1943, and they do a great job of showing who the best players in a level are, and as you move up in the ranks and sort of you see how many kills someone has or um, how many points they've won in a match, and I think we'd like to do something similar, allowing people to, uh, you know, have bragging rights to your friends, basically, to say, hey, I'm a better player than you, and, you know, be able to sort of show off on that. So I think we definitely want to include something like that. Dr. Fuzziness says, with the Atmosphere Beta's one-year anniversary coming up, will Mist re-release some of Mist being Minor Studios? That's the, what the community has decided uh, shortens Minor Studios. Uh, re-release some of the old versions of Atmosphere. Uh, yeah, I think that'd be a lot of fun, and uh, I really want to release. Uh, I have to go find this. I know it's on a hard drive somewhere, but the uh, the very first prototype of Atmosphere, where it was this three-level thing, where you've got still got the red stick figure hero uh, walking around these very simple levels with just platforms and ramps, and that's it. And uh, it's actually kind of hard and it controls uh, a little bit quicker and, and differently than the current version of Atmosphere, but it's interesting to see it as a point of comparison to see how far we've come in the past few years. Hopefully, to see how far we've come in the past few years. Um, but I'd like to make that available, so that's a good idea. Uh, maybe around the one year anniversary time, we'll try to do something like that for the community. Um, Let's see, uh, Atmos Link has another question. Here's a question from the mailbox. Uh, what do you think of some of the texture mods going around? Any favorites? Yeah, I've seen a lot of these. These are very cool. Young Link himself has done this uh, high texture mod uh, that's very cool. It's sort of these realistic, more mature, uh, I guess, textures um, he's putting together, and they look very, very cool. And uh, I also love the portal mod that, uh, that uh, you guys were working on as well. Um, that's very, very cool stuff. Um, I love that game, and it's cool to see it. It just shows how it, these type of things add new life and creativity into atmosphere and uh, you know I think uh, user created textures are something we're gonna have to address probably in 2010 um, down the down the road so uh, keep up the good work they're very cool I love seeing them uh, Max Howla says uh, how long, long does it take for you to make a level usually I like to make bigger levels and they usually take um, between, I don't know, 8 and 10 hours uh, usually to put something together. I usually start with what the environment is and, uh, you know, if I'm making a castle or a desert or something like that, and they make specific little gameplay puzzles and areas and challenges around that. Um, so it's, uh, you know, it's, it usually takes a good amount of time to think about all that stuff and, and try to, um, you know, good level design is not something that you can just you know, sort of crap out and, and not, uh, you know, give much thought into. Uh, and I get a lot of inspiration from playing other people's levels. Like just this week, Munchie's Fortress level. Uh, you guys all need to play that level. It's amazing. It does some great things that I've never seen before uh, done in Atmosphere. Uh, and uh, it's, it's very, very well done. And I love seeing stuff like that. It's a great castle level. And it took me about an hour to beat. And that's really impressive. Um, you know, I'm sure that took Munchie quite a long time to make. That's not something that just takes an hour to put together. Scary101 says, uh, can you show us some behind the scenes stuff uh, like a video of your office? Well, sure, I'll show you some stuff right now. Here's just a scene of my desk and uh, what that looks like. I've got some pictures there of people sent in and artwork that you guys have done and then desktop, computer, all that stuff. So, And a nice little view outside as well um, showing uh, that's looking down on Beale Street and uh, Mission as well out there. Uh, Misfit, K Misfit X Chaos App X says, for multiplayer, will you be using some multiplayer maps that people created and uploaded for deathmatch or capture the flag? Uh, we're still trying to iron out the rules on uh, how this all works, but basically, 
uh, at making a current atmosphere level multiplayer is just a matter of saying, here's where different spawn points are, here's where uh, you know the capture the flag, uh, the bases are, and that sort of stuff. It's basically adding some new items and new rules over top of an existing level. So um, I don't think it's going to be too hard to take an old level you've already made and transition that into multiplayer. Um, we're trying to make that as easy as possible. Marco D1419 says, how's PayPal support going? Will it be easier to integrate with the new engine? Yeah, we're making this a huge priority and I think definitely by the time that uh, Project Stratosphere, uh, the, the new engine comes out, um, PayPal should be supported. That's definitely a big priority for us and uh, I know a lot of you guys have been wanting to join the Players Club or wanting to buy Atmos but Google Checkout for one reason or another um, isn't supported or your parents won't let you or that sort of thing so um, we're trying to get PayPal support as quickly as possible. Uh, Nazo Ice says, do zombies eat atmosphere or atmosphere eat zombies? You know, I've been asking myself the exact same thing. It's quite the metaphorical conundrum, isn't it? I mean, uh, you know, when we think of the atmosphere as the air around us, then yes, is it not constantly devouring us? Or is it the other way around? Is mankind, aka zombies in this case, tearing the planet apart and therefore eating away at its natural resources? I say this is one amusing query and it's uh, well done, sir. Uh, Nazo Ice, uh, you are a scholar and a gentleman and I appreciate you bringing class and dignity to this fine video program. Levian asks, uh, do you think that moving platforms are going to be operational when the new engine comes out at the end of this year? Yeah, we already have them working actually in the new engine, so you shouldn't have any of the problems. Right now some users, particularly a lot of Vista users, um, are having some issues with uh, moving platforms not working and crashing the game. Uh, it should be working in the new engine and it should be working for everybody. Uh, Nuwa1 asks, what about camera controls? Would there be an option for preset camera controls? Uh, yeah, this is something we're working on right now, actually. I was talking to Francisco about this just this morning uh, over IM. And uh, as we said before, control is something we're, we'll always be tweaking and always be working on. And we have to cater to a wide variety of players, the people who are, you know, hardcore uh, PC gaming players. And, and, you know, they know the WASD controls. They're all about that. And they want as much control as possible over the camera and their character and, and weapons and all that stuff. And then we also have to um, consider newer players who aren't as you know, adept at moving the character and the camera at the same time. We've been, done a lot of user tests actually with people and seen how they react to things. And so we want to offer a variety of control schemes. Probably the best way to go through that is having some sort of in-game tutorial that lets you test out different things and see what control scheme fits you best. Um, but that's probably coming in the future as well. Tim Blue says, what's the best idea that was in the what would you pay for an atmosphere thread in the forums? And also are games coming back? Uh, the, yeah, this was a great thread. I asked basically in the community, in the forums, what would you be willing to pay for in Atmosphere? And we had some great responses. A lot of people just want everything for free, and uh, that's to be expected. You know, we could potentially do advertising support in the future one day. Um, but, uh, you know, what I really liked is people having the idea of having multiple ways to get something. So, for example, if there were, you know, was a specific design block, like, like let's say there was a brick block or something like that, and you could either win it and, and get it by either paying Atmos uh, right away if you don't want to put the time into it, or playing a bunch of levels, winning, gaining some sort of experience points, and being able to then win that as a reward from playing. So um, I like having the multiple ways to get something. That way, you know, you have the option. Do you want to put the time into it, or do you want to uh, um, buy it straight up? And uh, that's something, you know, we'd have to create a balanced system to be able to do that, and that would take a lot of thought and work, but that's probably, um, you know, one of the directions we may be going. So. That, those are some great ideas. In terms of games, I think they might come back later, but probably not the same as they did um, previously. You know, they were sort of hidden. A lot of people didn't play them. This is when uh, designers were able to put a bunch of levels together and patch them into one big game. Uh, probably what we'll end up doing is uh, making games almost like a playlist. So you can take not only your levels, but other people's, le people's levels and putting them together almost like, you know, a mix mixtape or something like that, or where you can say, all right, I want Tam Lu's level to be number one, Big Drip's level to be number two. Maybe they're all around the same theme. So we have the Mini 09 game or the Expert 09 game or a Castle game or, uh, you know, all these great platforming expert levels, you know, all, all that stuff, being able to sort of package levels together into one coherent package would be cool. And then it'd be cool to have like box art and stuff like that, package it all in one virtual thing, that'd be neat. All right, so that's it for today. Thanks guys for asking all your questions, rapid fire and Q&A here. Um, please answer, uh, ask more questions on twitter.com slash minor studios and uh, we'll try to do another one of these maybe next week. We've got the jump start probably coming up with the new design challenge results uh, and, and all that stuff, um, but uh, we'll see how it goes. So thanks guys for watching, have a great weekend and take care. <laughs>